today's project is a Xeon Flash 2 beret. And I built this to compare pulsed power versus regular lighting systems. And it was a couple other experiments I wanted to try. Here is a quick look of this setup. Charging transformer, high voltage rectifiers. I have a two-stage charging system. One with a high resistance, then when the voltage picks up on the capacitors, I switch on the other relay with a lower resistance and it uh, speeds up the charging rate. They're homemade jobs. I really need uh, a better setup on that. I didn't know what to expect with uh, high voltage DC. I can get by with a lot less than what I have. And isolator diodes, one diode for each flash tube. There is the control board for the relays and the one shots. One shot circuit, voltmeter, and here's the setup. Each flash tube has 3,300 microfarads on that. There's the uh, trigger. Micro-switch. And the flash tubes. Charging resistors. So this next test is going to be a single tube Xeon flash tube with 3300 microfarads up against an array of five 100 watt cool white LEDs and I'm going to run these with 90 watts on the input for each one and we'll see what the output looks like so this is the photo sensor that I'm using on this project it's using a Osram BPW21 photo diode and the spectral sensitivity on this closely approximates the human eye and there is a small bias supply to have the reverse bias on the photo diode and I regulate that with a Zener diode I have a piece of tracing paper on front of the sensor to attenuate the light. So what I have next is an array of five 100 watt cool white LEDs. And I'm using a DC to DC converter for the driver and I'm running them at 90 watts input power each. And there is the projection screen and I will say when I light this up the camera um, light, I guess it would be the gain control, is going to make it look dimmer than it really is. So please understand that and we will get a lumen reading. So here is the setup in operation. And we are reading. Eight hundred and eighty three lux. So I have the screen illuminated, and we're looking at like one hundred and fifty millivolts. If there's two hundred millivolts per division, 
I'll block off the sensor. Here's the DVM reading. Like 150 millivolts. Here's the scope reading on that flash discharge. This is one volt per division. So we are just over two volts on the peak. 2.5 milliseconds per division on the time. A much bigger result than those LEDs. Here goes a 8 tube flash array. The scope was set at 2 volts per division and 2.5 milliseconds per division. I'll do another shot. Same reading as before.